Conference, uh, Len McCluskey Unite Moving Composite 2. <clears throat> Colleagues, uh, we live in extraordinary times. We've just gone through a summer where everything possible has been used to attack and undermine our party and our leader. But we are still ahead of the Tories in most polls. Despite the smears and the sneers from the media and some in our own ranks who should know better, we have held, <clears throat> we have held all the incredible advances that we made last year under Jeremy's leadership. That tells us something about our country. People are desperate for hope, crying out for an alternative to austerity, fed up with inequality and the economics of privatisation, outsourcing and deregulation, and anxious about a blundering Tory no-deal Brexit. And they can see through the venomous attacks for what they are, the last throw of an elite desperate to hang on to its privileges, perks and ill-gotten gains. It also tells us something about our party and our movement. We are stronger than our enemies and their abuse is the highest compliment they could pay us. They feel threatened and they have every right to be so. Because because, comrades, we're coming for their fat cat fiddles. We're going to take back the railways, water, energy. We're going to build. We're going to build. We're going to build houses for the people, not for the foreign oligarchs. We're going to kick the capitalists out of the NHS, and we're going to lift the burden, comrades. We're going to lift the burden of debt from our young people and we're going to give trade unions and working people their rights back so that we can look the bosses in the eye and end the abuses from McDonald's to Uber. That... That's the programme that last year won us the most votes this century and we would be insane to retreat an inch from it. The polls prove that the British people want that agenda put into action. They want that change as soon as the Tories dare risk a general election. Wouldn't it be great, comrades, wouldn't it be great if all our party from top to bottom was united in promoting our alternative? I'm not talking. I'm not talking about unthinking agreement on everything or blind loyalty. Anyone has a right to disagree and a right to criticise. We are a democratic party. But I am talking about some MPs turning into an echo chamber for whatever line of attack the Tories and the press are deploying against us. <clears throat> yes. Anyone with a point of view should be heard. But anyone screaming you are a racist at Jeremy Corbyn has lost every sense of moral proportion. <clears throat> and I... And I might add, comrades, and I might add, comrades, that they've lost every shred of decency as well. Nor do we take any lessons on racism from the professional racists of the Daily Mail and the Sun. <clears throat> none of them, none of them have done a fraction as much for community relations as Jeremy Corbyn. Our party is the party of unity, equality and justice. It's the Tories who stoke fear and hatred. So we should not let the attacks put us on the back foot for one minute. It's a time for all of us, each and every one of us, to speak up for our leader, the most decent and principled man in politics today. He should not have to. Comrades, 
He should not have to face these attacks alone. And while Unite is here and good comrade, comrades like you, he never will have to. And let me also advise anyone who may be listening to the siren voices urging some sort of breakaway. If the centre ground is fighting for a better deal for working people and protecting our communities, look no further, it's right here in the Labour Party. So, so Chucker, drop the country club plotting, listen to working people, listen Listen to the working people, the length and breadth of this country. Get behind the party that made you and join the rest of this movement in fighting to get rid of this rotten government, to give our country the fresh start it needs and to make Jeremy Corbyn the People's Prime Minister. I move.